Hey guys, I'm Tom, the tech chap, and this is something a little bit special. It's the Porsche Design Huawei Mate RS, a super premium and super expensive version of the P20 Pro. And as soon as you open the box, you're greeted by a Porsche Design card of authenticity. Very fancy. You also get a whole range of accessories, all in black, including earphones, two super fast chargers, and USB-C cables. So it's a nice box, but what about the phone? Well, there's no mistaking that this is from Porsche Design. I've got it in black, although it also comes in red, with a metal and glass body, mirror finish, and a symmetry of design that the P20 lacks. So the biggest difference between the P20 Pro and this Mate RS is of course the design, but that's not all. It also offers up to a massive 512 gigabytes of storage, a sharper Quad HD Plus resolution screen, stereo speakers, wireless fast charging, a unique new cooling technology, but probably most interestingly, the Mate RS is the first widely commercially available phone to come with an in-screen fingerprint reader. That's pretty cool. And of course, it also comes with all the best bits of the P20 Pro, like the huge 4,000 mAh battery and the same awesome Leica engineered triple camera setup. Specs-wise, we've got a 6-inch QHD Plus OLED display, the Kirin 970 processor, 6 gigs of RAM, and in this particular model I've got here, 256 gigs of storage. And it runs Android 8.1 with Huawei's own EMUI 8.1 on top. Their software has come a long way in the last couple of years, and I'd say it's just as good now as rivals like the Samsung Experience UI on the Galaxy phones. And Huawei's AI technology built into the Kirin 970 chip is genuinely useful, from automatically switching camera modes depending on the scene, saving battery by optimizing the power management of your apps, and probably a million other things going on under the hood that we just don't see, but that contribute to a fast and responsive phone. So how much is all this gonna cost you? Well, so far it's only confirmed in euros, but this model is an eye-watering 1,550 euros, with the 512 gig model going for over two grand. That's crazy money, so I can't say I'm gonna be rushing out to buy one when it comes out in May, but maybe if you can afford a car with this badge, you can afford a phone with this one. But the big question for me when there's a brand partnership like this between Huawei and Porsche Design is just how much influence did Porsche really have in the development of it, or is it all just a marketing gimmick? Well, as well as driving some fancy Porsche McCanns around the Austrian countryside over the last few days, I also visited the Porsche Design headquarters and asked what their lead designer thought of the notch on the P20 Pro. He shook his head and called it a compromise. Porsche Design is not a fan of notches. So the symmetrical bezel of the Mate RS, the centralized placement of the camera lenses, and the removal of the P20's fake speaker grille on the bottom of the phone, all suggests Porsche Design had a big part in creating the Mate RS, which is really good to see. Although there are some definite design similarities between this and the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, except Samsung did keep the headphone jack. It's a beautiful looking phone, but the mirror glass back really is a fingerprint magnet, and it's quite slippery as well. So I found myself using the leather case provided in the box most of the time. But it's not just a pretty face. It's fast, it has exceptional battery life, and the best photography camera on any phone right now. With a 40 megapixel RGB lens, a 20 megapixel monochrome, and an eight megapixel telephoto, which gives you three times optical zoom. This thing, like the P20 Pro, is the photographer's dream. Take a picture at night in auto mode or with any other phone and it looks good, but switch it to night mode and it's insane. With AI stabilization and a four second exposure, this and the P20 Pro are absolutely incredible for photos. You can also get some great bokeh effects in your photos if you use the aperture mode. Although the lack of stabilization while shooting 4K video is disappointing, it's basically unusable. So if video is important to you, then maybe this isn't the best option. But if you want to see some more photos or even some behind the scenes shots, then make sure to follow me on Instagram at the tech chap. So it looks nice, the extra storage is kind of handy, although honestly I don't think I need that much. But what is really cool about the Porsche Design Huawei Mate RS is the new in-screen fingerprint reader. Register a finger, tap the screen and you're in. It's pretty neat, but not as fast or as consistently reliable or actually even as secure as the other fingerprint reader on the back of the phone. And not only that, but if you use the super quick face unlock as well, usually that's unlocked the phone before you've even tapped the screen with your finger anyway. So it's more of a proof of concept and a bit of an impressive tech demo, rather than a genuinely useful addition, in my opinion, for the moment at least. However, as impressive as this phone is, and it really is, 
Personally, I could never justify the cost, but if money is no object, or maybe less of an object for you, and you want the best smartphone in the world right now, this is probably it. Although personally, I think I prefer the design of the P20 Pro, not Janul. But what about you? Which do you think looks better? Vote in the poll at the top right and let me know what you make of the Porsche Design Mate RS in the comments below. So I've had an amazing time with the phone in Austria over the last few days. I'm gonna fly back to rainy old England now, but I'll see you guys next time right here on the Tech Chat.